So let's do that then. Let's go. Look at, look at, I need the name. You will fight the twins with B Queen on. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, I, we need to see if he can eat room look, for attacking look at, the rabbit. Look at, I need the name. Okay. Oh, no. oh, oh Dragonflight's going for him now. Oh, He's wow. oh on the cusp <laughs> of death here. Come on, wow, Ember. Ten seconds. <laughs> so technically, he should have an easier time than uncompromising. You know. That's kind of exactly what I'm thinking, is that either it's going to be, you know, it's like he's taking off his ankle weights, right? And he's going to be able <laughs> to zoom in, you know, this comparatively really easy vanilla. Or maybe he's forgotten how to play. <laughs> um, the, the, I, I will pause. I will pause from, to, to react, right? And it's really funny because when, I, when, when we were talking about that, I was certain I need a name going to pull up to pull off insane skill because I knew he practiced and yeah love that you created a contest for the content creators that must be awesome yeah it is it is it is really great to to be able to command that with Matt as well Matt is the goat man make yeah. the most out of vanilla compared mm -hmm. to the changes on compromising mode yeah so I recently played in a youtuber tournament Hosted by Don Gaiani, and it was a lot of fun. If you oh were... no, it's Don Gianni, bro. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Turn aware, Don. But you know what? Since since it's my real name, my real name, it's always ah. Uh, I'm like, nah. damn it. My father wouldn't be proud of you. I need a name. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's all right, bro. It's all right. No problem. No problem. No problem, bro. I'm joking. I'm joking. No problem. I'm, I'm really joking. Gaiani has been very active on Twitch lately, which is where this event took place. The tournament format is very simple. Oh, the Four editing is fire, bro. are chosen to compete against each other by boss rushing on the same seed. And I was lucky enough to be one of them. Every boss is assigned a certain point value. Time to delete it and start over? <laughs> Dude, the editing is fire. Look at those wanted dead or alive. We were out. Oh, you, you got something crazy there. You. And the player with the highest score in the end wins. Everyone has until the beginning of day 15 to accumulate as many points as possible, meaning we have less than two hours oh, on yeah. the clock to get it all is, our yeah. points. Each edition of the tournament also comes with some secret wildcard rules that the runners won't know about until right before the games begin. For this version, we had two of them. The first new rule was that duplicate characters are not allowed. So if someone else wants to pick the same character as you, you will have to roll for it. Luckily for me, this didn't cause me any problems because no one else wanted to contest my pick for some reason i can't say the same for jazzy though for some reason <laughs> were you were you expecting many all the people play willow because because of that b queen that b queen luda flame fight i'm curious to know that were you really surprised about the fact that no one picked willow except you since Ever Feratu was able to steal away his Maxwell pick, whoever loses will will go War Talks. Oh no! no, no. <laughs> oh, Things got very interesting when the other rule was revealed, though. For this tournament, if you happen to kill two bosses at the same time, you would be awarded she's two well, extra yeah, points. She's... This was a huge rule because two points is actually a lot when you look at how many points Damn these bosses are typically worth. Damn, the editing is Meaning it could make the difference between winning and losing. The runners are also prohibited from using any mods besides a select few that makes the viewing experience a bit better anyways bro i can i can tell you something i need a name i feel like your editing skills really step up from the beginning because i i watched a lot of videos that you started with and usually it's it's kind of hard to make playthrough editing um really being enjoyable for the viewers but you already got that but now the format is really fire bro you got some really crazy editing skills and good hides good hides because the the most difficult thing with editing is like 
imagining something in your mind and then reproducing in the in the program so yeah you were there from the beginning though and those one were awful they were not awful man it's it's simply that when when you do a lot of editing after and and after you can't really watch your older videos because of that but bro your editing skills are really you you really step up nice really nice bro congratulations that's enough talking let's start the run I'm picking Willow because Wolfgang and Woody are banned and I believe she's the best option that we have left. Her skill tree is very powerful as it gives me a damage multiplier and a lot of very useful utility. Taking a look at the point system, we basically have to start with Ancient Guardian because he has very useful drops and is worth a very good amount of points. Going to the ruins early is very important for my strategy because <laughs> it does a very good job at setting me up for the rest of my route. This is because I can get myself a Magiluminescence and Thulside Crowns. And you know what? This is funny because we had three, I think three stairs swing or maybe two stairs landing in the runes, not in the correct branch, but one branch was really interesting and no one got that except, except Jazzy. J Jazzy got some, yeah, two stairs. Yeah. Thank you, swing. Two stairs. The first stairs was, was actually landing yourself on, um, death mom. So that was crazy to get some moguls quick and be able to exploit well. And we were thinking about that when we found the seed. Which will make every future boss fight much easier. While I'm down there, I can also give myself a pick slash axe, which allows me to fight the nightmare wear <laughs> and unlock the scrappy <laughs> love the, for the future. The In holy, terms of world generation, I got pretty lucky holy sun. because I found the mosaic and a pig village. Don robbed your RNG because when he generated the world seed, he got the stairs at first cave opening. Yeah, and and later later that day, you told me swing that the the, the cave stairs are are random. So I was like, no. And the fact that the, the, the seed was really chosen because of mainly one thing. Because of the terrarium. Just, you, you see that pig village you, you go through? It was just, you needed to explore just more, just a bit more and you, you, you would have found the terrarium on day one this allowed me to get all the items i needed to rush the ruins very quickly and i was even able and to then everyone felt like they were being trolled by the club. cave seed we yeah really like the cave seed wasn't stuff, really i just need materials that great, to make two football helmets two hand bats and the golden tools just you found the staircase yeah you're right to make the process yeah, much right. safer since i checked every sinkhole i came across i had a pretty good understanding of where the ruins should be since there was a cave entrance far off in the distance i knew that the muddy biome should be somewhere in between between. Lo and behold, I was right. Now it's just a matter of finding the ruins, which are always connected to the muddy biome. To be honest, it really didn't take that much time to find it. Now we just need to search for the ancient guardian. I'm also farming embers for every slurper I come across, so I can make use of Willow's abilities. <laughs> Hold up. This is Cave Rock. Yeah, actually, I didn't, I didn't say that often on during the tournament, but Swing did an amazing job for those seeds because we had, we had, I think, ten seeds to to check that out, and that was that was crazy, crazy good job on that. And it doesn't belong here. This can only mean one thing. Yep, I knew it. I had a bad feeling this would happen too. See, I knew it. We were laughing. We were really laughing out loud on the cast because when when you typed, I knew it. Oh my god, I could imagine the the feeling. Damn it! Now we have more people mining seeds. Yeah. Everyone is playing on were handpicked by the organizers of this tournament beforehand, which means that this was no accident. Funky cave generation like this is pretty unfortunate to see because it means that conventional <laughs> I methods gotta love of exploration the why. may not apply to this seed. And I know for a fact. Damn, bro. Wait. 
this is pretty unfortunate to actually see, the tree the was really fire of look at that may not apply Whoa. to the seed and Sick i know editing. for a fact don guy and he knew that i need, I a, need name. a name is is Com very upset yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oops <laughs> we are sorry <laughs> since the world generation was bugged i had a feeling the ruins could have spawned literally anywhere else so i decided to waste a bunch of time outlining the muddy biome that i was in that is Luckily really me, funny i found it just five minutes later so it that's a lot of ruins. editing in though. another stroke of luck we walked right in and immediately found where the labyrinth was so yeah I you, you were the first to to, to actually find ig yeah obviously you did watch the vod but just be grateful it is not the drunkest seed we have, man. We had crazy drunk seeds. Like Luna Highland. And um We we had a seed where you could only access to oasis from from a wormhole. Like it 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 is crazy. I think it was the only one to find the lab first try. Yeah, he is, yeah. At least he wasn't a tricky tree one. I wasted no time and headed <laughs> over to the ancient guardian for my first boss fight. I'm setting the boss on fire because Willow deals 25% more damage against burning targets when the burning frenzy skill is active. Oh no, you, you, no. We wanted to see the start of step, bro. Damn it. Since I'm competing against other players, I need One time I had a seed where runes were after Luna Grotto, oh man. ...to learn the stutter step technique in order to maximize oh, okay. my DPS and gain a competitive edge over the other players. Thanks to Don Guyani's tutorial, I was able to quickly pick it up and practice oh, the shadow. just in time for this event. I don't know who that is, to be honest. It is certainly not me. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. No problem. <laughs> don't go on over. <laughs> no, I'm really, I'm really joking, bro. I'm really joking. I need a name. Don't, don't worry about that. Really, it, does, it doesn't affect me at all. No problem. Actually, the the AG fight as Willow is much more enjoyable since you can light the tar the um, target. <laughs> you wanted a, an an alt account? <laughs> well, now you got the name for it. <laughs> Next time you will accidentally call you Don Guano in a video. <laughs> yeah, Don Guano. It's 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 not from me. I I I t I told that in the stream earlier. He was a hater of me and he called Don Guano in the... I think you can you can see that in my Steam profile. Before I kill the boss, I need to make sure that it's not on fire because I need the raw meat it drops to make my next hand bat. And just like that, we now have two points on the scoreboard, putting us in the lead because no one else has made it to the Ancient Guardian yet. The loot we got from AG was incredible, as it had a lazy explorer and other nice goodies. All we need to do And now, Miss, Mr. Glasses has, has, ask me something. No, that wasn't mean. That wasn't mean. What, what are you talking about, Swing? Nothing, con nothing looks like mean coming from you anyway, so... You can't be that. I think, I think that the AG chest was the same for everyone. I'm not sure about that, but I'm, I'm like ninety percent sure. Because everyone got a lazy. But I, I have to double check if the the loot was the same for everyone. It was okay. So yeah, this yeah this is a good news for for the next seeds. This is the good news. Now, is yeah, it's pretty terminated with age, yeah. Thanks to the lazy explorer. I'm using Don Gianni for my win on a script. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking. 
I was able to teleproof out of the labyrinth and make it to the correct ruins branch really quickly. I still needed a bit more nightmare fuel and Thula sight, so with the help of Lunar Bernie, I decimated a bunch of clockworks and nightmares. Yeah, Bernie, Bernie's really gold for that thing. Don Giovanni Gaming, Don Gianni. <laughs> nice TPR. I really like that song as well. Now that we have the pseudoscience station to ourselves, it's time to make pick slash axe, a Thulesite club, and as many Thulesite crowns as we can. From there, we left the ruins and started searching for the Nightmare Wear Pig, which we easily found. Without further ado, let's get started with our second boss fight. The oh Nightmare man! Can't be set on the fire, editing so we won't is be able to fire. make use of any damage multipliers. For this reason, and I'm, I'm not using saying a fresh that because you're playing a shorter fight. I also had most of my mushrooms left over, so I cooked them for as much sanity as I could get, so I wouldn't have to waste too much time fighting terror beats. Look at him, just been terrorizing the, the run pretty, pretty hard. That is funny to see Stutter stepping in video in accelerated. Call 911 ID in the name is booing the local inhabitants of the rooms. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. And the fact that he just learned that before the tournament is it is absolutely amazing. Really. Oh the kiting on the Terabic was fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Lee. He stated that in the in the at the beginning of the of the video, and he even said that at the end of the tournament in the VOD. That's nuts. He was born like that. He just came out the belly of his mother, started stepping. <laughs> Damn it. That G. That G. Like, it's a boy. He was started stepping the, the dogs. <laughs> okay, sorry. That, that, that was bad. Nice. With the Nightmare Wear Pig down, that puts us at 4 points, four which points. is pretty good, since most of the other runners have just finished the Ancient Guardian. Now, it is time to head up to the surface and start collecting as many points as we can get. The first thing we Day saw seven. when we reached the really surface was Bee Queen, which was a really, really, fight, really cool. because that's the next boss I'd like to fight. Several days before the tournament, I saw this video by Amis Slory, where he was able to easily kill Bee nice. Queen by farming a bunch of bees for embers, and it inspired me. I plan to use the same strategy he did except there's just one problem the bee queen biome had only two beehives which was the lowest i've ever seen in my life this kind of threw a big <laughs> yeah we didn't we didn't even check that during the seat to be honest just two beehives without spending way too much time this meant that i had to adapt and fast i'm not allowed yeah, to and this is why running the tournaments seeing players adapting was the game and think, so I had to come up with some way to get embers faster. I desperately searched the map, hoping to find more beehives, trying to scrape together a strategy on how I'm going to get four stacks of embers without wasting too much time. This world didn't have a killer bee biome, but I was able to come across a couple of scattered beehives here and there. With less than an hour left on the clock, I had to think of something. And then, I found it. <laughs> this chest contains the terrarium, and it was the answer to all my problems. 
Since the beehives in this world were far apart and few in numbers, I won't be able to fight the bee queen for a few more days, oh, that... which really sucks because I won't be making any progress on the scoreboard in the meantime. But what if I was? See, if we take a look at the point distribution of bosses, you can see that the Twins of Terror are extremely valuable, sitting at 4 points. This is because the boss has 20,000 health and can only be fought during the night, which is problematic because the nights are really short. That being said, although there's no way I can beat them in a single night, there's nothing stopping me from summoning them every night in a row and softening them up little by little. Exactly. So that's exactly what I did. Exactly. Always sitting on nearly three stacks. Oh, nice on the beat. Oh, man, you're such a G. With the help of some local spiders, I was able to do over 3,000 damage in this the first night, really which was alright I'd say. At this point, the plan is pretty simple. We run from beehive to beehive, farming embers during the day, and we summon the Twins of Terror during the night. At this point, I felt confident that I had enough embers to challenge the Bee Queen with, which meant that I'll be able to start fighting it right after the night is over. Oh man! Damn it! I'm vibing! Now that the night is over, let's start the Bee Queen fight. I don't have a hammer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you got me there. <laughs> that, that was dope. <laughs> With the, with the song stopping, damn. <laughs> that was dope. Now, I have a hammer. Let's do this. Truth be told, it has been a really long time <laughs> I since I fought remember the Bee Queen names. See, <laughs> I've been playing uncompromising mode exclusively for years, which is a little problematic for me because the Bee Queen fight over there works completely differently than it does in vanilla. For this reason, oh, I don't actually those. have a lot of practice with fighting this boss the normal way. So instead, I'm bringing Amaslari's special technique. I'm spamming Lunar Flames off cooldown. This is too well made. This is this is really well made. Oh damn it! This is legit the best video I've seen that that year, bro. Legit. Everything works really well. <laughs> the chaos with the song <laughs> that is insane it is genius man really and that lunar flame was dope hitting everyone while the boss in is aggro to be queen your positioning in that fight was really something else Okay, that was incredible. I wasn't able to kill the Bee Queen right before the night started, so I was forced to fight two different bosses at the same time. Since failing to spawn the twins, 
would reset all the progress I've gotten <laughs> on them so far. Killing the Bee Queen got me three points. But the question is, how many points did I get for killing Spasmatism? See, if you remember that secret wildcard rule from before, you might think that that would be two additional points added to my score, but it doesn't work that way. The reason for this is because Spasmatism isn't considered a boss on its own. Instead, it's a part of the twins, which is technically still alive, since I haven't killed the Retinazer yet. That being said, it's not really a big deal, because I could still get the two bonus points if I did the Retinazer with another boss. The real problem is, I didn't know that at the time, and I actually thought I would have been awarded bonus points for that fight. Oh, you really? Kill the twins first. The twins are the ones that need oh, damn to it. die. Oh, no, the, the but second. he might not be aware of that. Nice. He He's might think so that he'll, he'll still get the point bonus, even if the twins despawn. Interestingly enough, though, the commentators realized this. I really love Matt's voice, man. Matt is so... He's putting a real excitement and he's the best guy that I could have to commentate with me, I feel. It really, it really adds up a lot. And they decided to undeafen me to explain how the rule actually works. I, got the point, boss. I, I, need, an, I need a name, bro. You have to find... Uh, you have to, to kill Retinaza with Hello? any other boss to get the two <laughs> more points, alright? <laughs> I love the hello. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> man, this is genius. Bro, I'm about to, I'm about to do that, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Let him go. Let him go. Okay. I mean, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> focus, focus. I'm gonna be honest, I still didn't know what was going on, even after he literally just told me. Whatever though, I'm sure it won't become a problem later on. So let's just fight the Scrappy Werepig next. Now, hold on a minute. Why is the Scrappy Werepig here? Shouldn't it take like 10 days for it to spawn after I killed the Nightmare Werepig? I did that back on day 7, so how am I able to fight it on day 12? The answer to that is pretty simple. Remember the mod list we were restricted to? One of them is Don't Starve Alone, which is known to have a very interesting bug. The mod is designed to reduce lag, and it does so by disabling the caves when you're on the surface, and vice versa. However, by doing so, it tricks the timers of the game to think certain things happened before they actually did. For example, if you happen to go in the caves on day 2, but kill the Nightmare Werepig on day 7, the game is tricked into thinking the Nightmare Werepig died on day 2, so the scrappy one spawns on day 12 on the surface. Anyways, that's enough chit chat from me. Let's fight this guy. And the, the scrappy rapid fight was amazing, bro. I think it was the. Yeah, the explaining. Yeah, yeah. You explained that really well. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of upset about showing. About showing. When you when you get hit because really that was the cleanest scrappy rapid fight i've ever seen probably i mean on playing with that amount of of like stress and hurry that was the cleanest one The songs are on point. Using raw jelly. <laughs> that is fire, bro. It really is. Ouch.
Well, it looks like the Retinazer got away, but on the bright side, that's another 3 points onto the scoreboard, putting us at 10, which is pretty good because most of the other runners seem to be miles behind. But what's this? Eber is only 3 points behind me, and he's fighting the same boss that I just did. Hold up. He's doing the Eye of Terror, and then he killed the Scrappy Whirpig. Unlike me, he actually managed to follow the rule correctly, and now he's at 13 points. All that time I wasted getting embers gave him the chance to catch up to me, and now he's actually in the lead. On the brighter side of things, I still have two knights to kill the Retinazer, except I completely burned through my pan flute. Since putting the twins to sleep is a very viable method of getting a lot of damage on them, I really need to get myself another pan flute. Luckily for me, I managed to build a Prestahatitator and craft the pan flute I needed just in time. The only thing left to do while I waited for knights was to search for the Dragonfly Desert because it's probably the only boss left that might actually be possible with the time we have remaining. Once it became night time, we were Resumed the Retinazer fight. That was the, the pen foot crafting was was really clutch. This is it fellas, the final day. I wasn't able to kill the Retinazer there, but Rip it's so Jester. low that I'm sure I'll get it tonight. <laughs> All we can really do now is look for the Dragonfly Desert. Normally, I wouldn't know where to look, but luckily for me, I watched the Chosen One's exploration guide, and from there, I learned that the Savannah Biome is something otherwise known as a Middle Biome, which basically means that it likely has another biome past it. I walked through the biome, and boom, there it is. Let's hurry up and build some walls and start fighting. I don't know if I'll be able to get through 27,000 health in half a day, but at this point, I might as well try. Exactly. Only one, no, two crown left. It's for the dragonfly points at all. I don't know if it's possible to be honest because look at look at Eber though. He, he can die, he can die at any moment. He can die and if he dies, that's over. It's over. Eber's game is hinging on this exact fight and he has so oh, little room for error. That's because oh, he... oh he oh he what? got hit again! He's so low! Oh oh he ate the quick <laughs> mandrake! He had a quick mandrake or something! He's back at full health! He's what? back in the fight! Oh 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 oh, oh 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 no! Oh, oh, that was rude. If he doesn't kill Dragonfly before day 14 is over, it would have all been for nothing. Look at the Retinazer. He's a dead man oh, walking. Close. He needs to start using the <laughs> He needs to start going. This crazy. is really well made. Oh, oh, Dragonfly's going for him now. He's, oh, look oh, at the health. The cusp of death here. Damn it. The place free. 1,500. He needs to summon more duelists. He needs to summon more duelists. Or is he going to go in for the kill himself? Ever. 10 seconds! Go, go, go! He's dead! Oh, and the duelists are dead! No! No! Well, I guess that's it. I wasn't able to <laughs> oh, kill Dragonfly man. in the time I had left, but I guess it didn't really matter in the end. Once everyone's time was up, I was left with the most points, having just one more than Eber Feratu. I won't lie though, seeing how close he was to killing the Dragonfly was terrifying to watch. But I guess it's a good thing <laughs> that Maxwell only has 75 health. I do want to congratulate all the- <laughs> Nice. Eber is non-stop talking about that health, man, that's dope. Contestants though, because I believe <laughs> they all played very well. I wasn't able to show off the full scale of this event in this video, since it was mostly focused on my point of view. But believe me when I tell you, it was pure cinema, especially Carrion's point of view. Trust me. Anyways, if you want to see the whole thing with everyone's perspectives, you'll need to go watch it on Don Guyani's side, since he's the one hosting it live on his Twitter. Who? <laughs> I mean, this is this is the last joke I made about that. I swear.
Twitch. More importantly though, you don't want to miss out on the next edition of the tournament, which is happening on Sunday, the 27th of October at 1pm nice. UTC Thank you, bro. There's only been two tournaments so far, but I can confidently say that they have been the most entertaining forms of Don't Starve Together content that I have ever seen. So I encourage you all nice. to show up to the third one. There are Thank some you. very skilled players playing in the third edition, so I can guarantee that it will be exciting to watch. One last thing I want to say before I disappear again. I've been a bit preoccupied with life, so I haven't been nearly as active as I used to be. I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing good over here and that I actually have another long <laughs> form on compromising mode related video that I have slowly been working on. My fingers nice. are crossed that I finish this project before 2025. But to be honest, I awesome. can't guarantee that I do. Instead, here's a very small teaser on what it's gonna be. Oh, it's the six, the six players? No, the four players. Oh, that that was, yeah, that that's what you were talking about, right? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it will be epic. Oh my days, look at the health of the bosses. <laughs> Awesome, awesome video, man. Really. Amazing, amazing video, man. It is really fire, bro. Really. It is really fire, man. Congratulations, my man. It is really great. Really, really, really great. I, I loved every second of it. Really. Congratulations, my my bro. It's really great. It's really great to see that you kind of you got recognition from that speedrun video because you really deserve it. You really do. That video is something else, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, that was that was awesome. Yeah, that was. I I I mean it when when I say that was the best video I've I've ever seen this year. One of the rare instances you don't want the video to end exactly. I could have I could have watched that during two hours, really. That was amazing. He went all in I need a name and won 40k. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna end the stream right now. I, I don't know if I'm gonna end it to be honest because...